So, welcome back to my latest iteration of my ad of the week. Uh, so, during this period, Burger King have been producing some truly brilliant and simple pieces of creative content. The last campaign, the Creative Whopper, was simple in breaking down their best-selling products so that you can make them at home. Uh, that was produced by uh, Buzzman in France for Burger King France. Uh, the latest uh, advert is the Social Distancing Whopper from... Wonderman Thompson, Italy, for Burger King, Italy. Um, so it's, it's taking the notion that eating onions keeps people away from you. And uh, so what they've done is they've added three times the amount of onions that would normally be on their Whopper to basically keep for people even further away from you. Uh, so the new ad is in both a short video and static imagery with the final line in the advert being the triple onion whopper that helps others stay away. And here's the advert for you so you can see it in all its all its glory. Buongiorno. Social distancing whopper. Il whopper con tripla cipolla che aiuta gli altri a starti lontano. Solo da Burger King. So as you can see, for marketers, the recent creativity of Burger King has been brilliant and has been relatively inspiring for many. However, the, the true measure of, of its success is going to be how well it creates resonance and salience with its target audience and its existing customers. And judging by a number of comments across social media uh, from both marketers and the general public alike, the impact comes down to generally one thing being summed up, and that is starting with the Moldy Whopper and now this uh, this campaign. Why are Burger King so insistent on making their f- um, their food look inedible? Um, obviously, the Moldy Whopper was a mo- uh, was one of their signature burgers left out to to kind of rot in effect. Um, and this one is obviously putting so many on- onions on it that it would ruin the taste of, of kind of anything. Um, so it, it kind of does raise that, that that question and only time will tell on whether it, it does what what any good campaign should. And that is increase the salience within the target audience of that brand and down the line, whether it increases sales or or even if it if it decreases sales potentially. Hopefully you'll uh, tune in next week to see my next ad of the week. Uh, I haven't quite decided what it's going to be yet. Um, But if you do like these videos and all the other videos that I'm posting, don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well. Uh, And don't forget to press the little bell that's next to the subscribe button so you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video.